For this lab exercise, you've been assigned to serve as your team's captain. Congratulations! This brief video will cover some of the necessary information that you'll need in order to successfully execute your responsibilities as captain. Remember, these labs are intended to be a collaborative exercise, and your role is to coordinate the collaboration, not to do all of the work. First, and most importantly, you should get started organizing your team as quickly as possible. Once the assignment is posted in Blackboard, you should familiarize yourself with it and communicate with your team. It is critical that you contact them and establish a communication protocol as soon as you can. If any of your team members fail to respond to your initial communication, you should let me know so that I can prompt them to get in touch with you. The team captain has three distinct tasks to fulfill during the exercise. First, submit the team work plan. This is a document outlining how your team intends to carry out the work. Second, coordinate the completion of the assignment. This mostly means that you help define the roles of each team member and collate their results as they provide them to you. Third, submit the work completion form. This is a document that verifies the contributions made by each member of the team. You will receive 20 points for submitting the work plan and 20 points for submitting the work completion form above and beyond the score you receive for the lab exercise itself. Let's look at each of these tasks. Lab assignments will be posted on the dates indicated in the syllabus. The soft chalk version of the syllabus provides a calendar that shows when the assignment will be posted, and I will be alerting you to this through the Blackboard email system. To kick off your team's work, you should communicate with the team within 24 hours of the assignment posting and establish a protocol by which the team will communicate. If this is not the first lab, your team may have already developed a successful protocol and you do not have to create a new one. In the past, some teams have elected to use Google Docs as a way to share work. You could also use the communication tools available in Blackboard, but it is important that you establish how you are going to communicate while various members perform their tasks so that everyone can review the team's work. In the first couple of days, you will need to work with your team to establish team member roles as outlined in the lab instructions and background document. I have already defined some roles that equally distribute the workload to make this easier for you. However, you will need to determine how your team plans to answer the post-analysis questions in the lab. By the way, you will have to take one of the roles yourself. As team captain, it is your responsibility to fill out and submit the work plan for your team within five days of the posting of the lab assignment. For example, if the lab is posted on a Wednesday, then the work plan should be submitted by the following Monday, and sooner if you can. This submission has two steps. First, you upload the work plan document to the team captain assignment, then you click on Submit. This will let me know when you have completed this step. Each lab must be completed within about 10 days of the posting of the assignment, so the sooner everyone knows their responsibilities within the assignment, the more time they will have to carry out those tasks. During the execution of the lab tasks, you will be busy carrying out your part of the assignment. Your only responsibility as team captain might be to set deadlines by which the team members should plan to complete their portions of the assignment. A common mistake is to wait until the day the lab report is due to perform the analysis. This may not leave enough time for your team to finish its work. When the lab report worksheet is completed and everyone on the team has had a chance to review it, you are responsible for submitting the report through the Blackboard assignment. This involves the same two steps as you use to submit the work plan. First, upload the report to the lab assignment, then submit the assignment in Blackboard. Once you have submitted the lab assignment, you have one more task to perform. You will need to fill out the work completion form and submit it through the team captain assignment just as you earlier submitted the work plan. This form provides a verification of the team's division of labor and also gives you a chance to commend team members that perform their work particularly well. You should also provide feedback about your experiences as team captain through the short answer questions on the form. That's about it. If you perform your duties conscientiously, your team will have a much easier time carrying out this assignment, and all of you will benefit from a stronger report and a higher score. Please let me know if you have any questions about your role as team captain, and good luck!